Hi, I'm Tasha with One Big Happy Life on behalf of The Financial Diet, and this is The Lifestyle Fix brought to you by FreshBooks. The Lifestyle Fix is all about helping you create the life that you want on any budget. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to create a capsule wardrobe for work. As you may already know, I work full-time as an attorney. My office has a business casual dress code, but I do also need to wear suits from time to time. Having a capsule wardrobe for work makes my weekdays run a lot smoother. If you're interested in what my work capsule wardrobe looks like, you can check out that video by clicking in the description box down below or in the card up above. So, what is a capsule wardrobe anyway? It's a small curated collection of coordinated clothes clothing and accessories that make up your entire wardrobe and that you can rotate seasonally. Just how small that collection needs to be is up to you, but 30 or so pieces is a good number to use as your starting point. Then you can adjust up or down from there depending on your personal preferences. Remember, the purpose of your clothing and of concepts like having a capsule wardrobe is to serve you and make your life easier and not to provide arbitrarily restrictive rules that you have to stick to no matter what or else. Before we get into the how of making a capsule wardrobe, let's talk about some of the benefits of having one. For one, you spend less time and money on clothing. Limiting your wardrobe to a fewer items of clothing means that you won't be spending as much money shopping for new things and you won't have as many wasted purchases because you're more selective about your purchases. Capsule wardrobes reduce decision fatigue because you have fewer items of clothing to choose from on any given day and you've already done the mental work of creating outfits back when you built your capsule wardrobe. And by having fewer items of clothing that you wear more often, Often, you make sure that you're getting full use out of the clothing that you own. Capsule wardrobes are easily adaptable to any life stage or wardrobe need. Even my teen daughter has one, but today I'm going to be focusing specifically on how you can build a capsule wardrobe for work. Step one, figure out your work style. The key to making a capsule wardrobe work is to fill your capsule with pieces that you absolutely love. That means you're gonna need to spend some time thinking about what you want your work style to be. When it comes to business casual, there's a wide range of clothing that fits in this category, especially if you're a woman. Depending on the cut and style, anything from cotton dresses and t-shirts to a full suit can work for business casual. If you're lucky, your office might even let you dress down on days so you can throw on a pair of jeans on Friday. Or it might be that while your office is mostly business casual, there are times when you'll need to wear full-on business formal, like for client meetings or court appearances for lawyers. You'll also want to think about the types of outfits you prefer to wear. Do you prefer pants and top combos or are you more into dresses? Do you like to layer with cardigans? and wear accessories, or are you more minimalist with your outfits? Step two, think about how often you want to do laundry. How frequently you do laundry affects how many items of clothing you'll want to include in your capsule. The more often you do laundry, the fewer items of clothing you need to have. I like to do laundry weekly, but sometimes that doesn't happen, either because we're out of town on a trip or just happen to be extra busy with other things that week. So for maximum flexibility, I like to be able to go up to two weeks without having to do laundry. So my capsule always allows for that, even if I don't always take advantage of it. Here's an example of how this works. Let's say you wear pants to work every day and typically wear your pants two to three times before tossing them in the laundry. Yes, that is perfectly okay. And let's assume that you only wear a shirt once before you wash it. That means your basic work capsule wardrobe on a one week laundry cycle could be two to three pairs of pants and five shirts. That's eight total pieces of clothing, assuming you don't mind repeating week after week. If you wanna go twice as long between washes, you'd aim for at least 16 pieces in your capsule. Capsule. Step number three, calculate how much clothing you'll need for your capsule. The amount of clothing that you will need is a factor of the kinds of outfits you plan to wear, your laundry frequency, and how often you're comfortable repeating outfits. We've already touched on figuring out your work style and laundry. The other part of the equation is outfit frequency. In other words, how often are you willing to repeat the same outfit? The more variety you want in your capsule, the more items of clothing you're gonna want to include in your capsule. Okay, so let me give you a practical example of how this works. For your work style, let's say you like to wear pants four days a week and a dress one day a week. That's a minimum of two pants, four shirts, one dress, or seven items of clothing to fill out your work capsule for a week on a weekly laundry schedule. If you're happy wearing those same outfits every week, you're done. But if you want more variety, you'll have to add more clothing. Pants tend to be pretty neutral, so you can choose to add four more shirts and one more dress to add another week of easy variety into your capsule. That's two full weeks of outfits with with no repeats using just 12 items of clothing. Two pants, 
eight shirts and two dresses. Add in a neutral skirt that goes with your shirts and that's eight additional outfits. You get the idea. Write out a list of how many pieces of clothing and what types of clothing you need in your capsule wardrobe. Given the types of outfits you wear, how often you do laundry, and how often you want to repeat outfits. A 30 day no repeat capsule might look something like this. Two pants, one skirt, 16 tops, four dresses for a total of 23 pieces of clothing. If you're a man, 20 shirts and three pairs of pants will get you through a whole month with no repeat outfits. Step number four, go through your closet and see which items of clothing you already own. Now that you know what you want your capsule to look like, it's time to purge your closet. I highly recommend taking absolutely everything out of your closet and only putting back in the items that match the list of clothing items you wrote down in the last step. If you need some help deciding which items you should let go of for good, check out my video about things you should purge from your closet right now. I'll drop a link to it in a card up above and down in the description box below. Now, keep in mind that just because you don't have room in your capsule for an item this time around, doesn't mean you need to get rid of it entirely. You can always put it away for now and swap it in next season to add some new interest to your capsule. But if you end up passing on the item season after season, you might wanna go ahead and donate or sell that item. Step number five, make a list of pieces you still need for your capsule. Most likely after you've gone through your current wardrobe and pulled out the items that will work for your capsule, you'll find that there are still a few holes in your capsule because you don't have anything that would work. It's great to have a specific list of items that you need to flesh out your wardrobe because that means you can be really targeted with your shopping and can look for deals on those specific pieces. But as tempting as it might be to go out and have a capsule wardrobe shopping spree, I wouldn't recommend doing that just yet. Instead, live with what you have for a while and just see how it feels. You might find that you're happy on a two week repeat cycle instead of 30 days. Or you might wanna swap in a few suits every now and then. Or you might find that you want more color in your capsule than when you initially started where you opted for more neutrals. So live with your capsule for a while and then when you're ready, use your list and your newfound knowledge of your capsule wardrobe preferences to inform your purchases. Step number six, plan out your outfits in advance to maximize your outfit variety. Capsule wardrobes are built on the idea of mixing and matching. So you've pretty much already planned out all of your outfits before you even set foot in your closet in the morning. With fewer items of clothing to choose from, it's a lot easier to go into your closet and quickly grab an outfit that works. But if you wanna step things up a notch, you can use an outfit planning app to plan all of your outfits out in advance. I've used a free app called Smart Closet for years. It lets you add in all of your clothing and and pre-schedule what you're going to wear every day. In the morning, it sends you a notification showing you that day's outfit. Smart Closet also has an outfit planning tool that it's really useful. You can create outfit rules that the app then uses to suggest new outfits for you. For example, you can create a rule that combines pants with tank tops and cardigans. Then the app will show you every possible combination based on the items currently in your closet, which makes outfit planning super easy. It can also show you which outfits you haven't worn in a while so you can add them back into your rotation. If you want to check out the app in action, check out my daughter Alexis's capsule wardrobe video in the description box down below. Now that we've covered the basics of how to set yourself up for professional success with a capsule wardrobe, let's talk about another essential business tool, FreshBooks. Making sure your business is healthy starts with keeping your books in order. Things like invoicing, tracking time and expenses, project coordination, and other accounting tasks can be confusing, eat up valuable time, and in turn cause unnecessary stress. FreshBooks accounting software has been designed to make running your small business easier. It streamlines all of those time-consuming accounting tasks so you can use your business savvy for actually running your business. So save yourself time and stress and improve the relationship with your business with FreshBooks. Right now, FreshBooks is offering TFD listeners a free 30-day trial of FreshBooks, no credit card required. Go to freshbooks.com TFD and enter the financial diet in the how did you hear about us section. Thank you guys so much for watching and tune in here every single Friday for new episodes of The Lifestyle Fix. Bye.